You guys, I recorded this entire video with something in my tooth. So now I'm refilming it because we can't, we can't have that. <laughs> also, I know I've been gone for over three weeks, almost a month, and I will provide some life updates in another video, but I wanted to come back here on YouTube with my summer book recommendations just because it's already May, which means it's basically summer. I'm also going to speed right through this because again, this is my second time filming this video and I have to finish it before my son wakes up. So we're going to do kind of a speed round for my summer book recs. I hope you guys don't mind. First up, we have Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monahan. This is actually the author of Nora Goes Off Script, which is very popular here on booktube. I've actually never read it, but I do want to read it this summer. This one follows a female main character who is going on a little family vacation with her fiance. She's about to get married and they end up going to her family's beach house in Long Island. While they're there, her childhood best friend slash boyfriend staying at his family's house, which happens to be right next to her family house. And seeing him there kind of brings back all her old feelings for him. And she starts to question her pen marriage and starts to question her relationship with her fiance. If you really enjoy second chance romances and childhood best friends to lovers, then you'll really, really enjoy this one. It also takes place right next to the beach. So it's just a great little book to read during the summer. Also my glasses. Or dirty. Then we have two books by K.L. Walther. I have The Summer Broken Rules and What Happens After Midnight. The Summer Broken Rules does take place in the summer. It follows a female main character named Meredith. She's dealing with the loss of her sister, but her cousin is getting married, so her family decides to go to Martha's Vineyard for the first time since her sister passed. The female main character Meredith is obviously grieving the loss of her sister and also being back in one of her favorite places without her favorite person, so she makes her mission to win her family's game called Assassin, which honestly sounds like a blast. I kind of want to play it. She makes it her mission to win in honor of her sister, but she ends up meeting a boy from the wedding party and they kind of hit it off together immediately. Throughout the book, she's put in these situations where she has to choose either continuing the summer fling or putting the game first and winning it in honor of her sister while obviously still trying to overcome her grief. Beautiful scenery, beautiful family that sticks together. It also tackles grief very nicely in my opinion. So I highly, highly recommend this book. I read it last year and I was like obsessed and I'm normally not into YA romances. I feel like The Summer Broken Rules is the first YA romance that I've read and actually really loved. And then What Happens After Midnight, I really love mainly because of how it made me feel. This one actually takes place at the start of summer, like end of spring, start of summer, end of the female main character's senior year. And I just loved how it captured the anxiety and excitement of graduating high school and starting college. Author did such a great job of capturing those feelings and it just took me back to when I was a senior in high school. I was a female main character, Lily, I believe. Yeah, Lily Hopper, who has always been a goody two shoes. She's never gotten in trouble and she wants to end off her senior year by doing something fun and exciting and breaking the rules a bit. She actually gets selected to be part of the senior year's school prank. The person executing the senior prank is actually her ex-boyfriend. They end up spending a whole night together executing the senior prank and through them spending time together, they start to remember what their relationship was like but throughout the book you see them avoiding the topic of why they broke up so it is a second chance romance i loved all the characters i love the side characters the friend group was so funny i kind of want books just based on the side characters because they just have so much chemistry and again i just loved how the book made me feel it just took me back to high school and being excited that you're graduating but being sad that you're saying goodbye to your friends everyone's going on their own path you're excited to start college but you're also very nervous of it. It's just a very good book and it just took me back. So really loved it. And then we have books by the beach read queen herself, Emily Henry. Of course, I need to include Funny Story, which just came out. I read this book in April and absolutely loved it. Instant five star. This one follows two characters who end up being roommates because they each got dumped by their significant others who end up being together. So the female main character gets dumped before her wedding by her fiance and that fiance ends up getting together with his childhood best friend who was also in a relationship with the male main character in this book. Does that make sense? It's very confusing, but the two main characters after getting dumped end up being roommates because the female main character has nowhere to go. And the female main character is obviously struggling with being broken up right before her wedding, but she's also struggling to figure out who she is without being in a relationship. So she's very eager to leave the small town that she's in because she only moved 
you to be with her fiance. But the male main character is basically telling her throughout the book, like, don't leave, don't let that guy take away the beauty from the small town. Like the small town is beautiful. Everyone living here is amazing. He just loves a small town. He makes it his mission to show her around and to show her what she would be missing if she left and that she doesn't need to run away just because her relationship didn't work. And throughout them spending time together, they realize that they actually have a lot more in common than they originally thought. Emily Henry has a gift of writing romance books while also writing immense character growth. And the two main characters in this book have a lot of baggage that they have to overcome. I related a lot to the two main characters. Maybe that's why I enjoyed it so much. I literally knew it was going to be a five star book for me within like 20 pages of starting it. So highly, highly recommend. Then of course, I'm going to quickly mention her other books. I've talked about these books so much on my channel. You probably are sick of me bringing them up. They're just such good beach reads. We have obviously Beach Read, another five star. It follows two authors who are experiencing writer's block. They end up exchanging genres on a bet. So the female main character, January, is writing a literary fiction book. And then Gus is writing a romance book. It's kind of enemies to lovers, but not really because they're enemies for like five seconds. Then we have People We Meet on Vacation. This one is a friends to lovers. This is probably my least favorite Emily Henry book. It matches with my shirt today, but I still enjoyed it. I just don't love the friends to lovers trope and certain things about this book made me feel icky. They still do till this day, but I know that this book is loved by so many people here on booktube that I'm always going to recommend it because you don't know if you'll end up loving a book until you read it. This one follows two friends who have gone on vacation every single year until something happens during one of their vacations and they don't talk to one another for two years. The female main character, I believe Poppy, yeah, Poppy misses her friend and wants their friendship to go back to what it was. So she ends up inviting him for one last summer vacation to see if she can fix their friendship. Not my favorite, but if you're into friends to lovers, then you'll probably really enjoy that one. Then we have book lovers. I love this book. I feel like a lot of people here on booktube shitted on it when it first came out. I will say that it's not a book heavy on romance. It focuses mainly on the female main character's growth throughout the book and overcoming certain things that she's held on to over the years and coming out of her shell. Romance is basically a subplot. It's there, but it's not the main focus. If you go into it knowing that and accepting that and being okay with that, then I think you'll really enjoy it for what it is because the writing and the banter and the characters, everything was just amazing in this book. Loved it so much. Okay, this next book is not really a summer book, but if you're going on vacation where you're just going to be laying out in the sun and you want a good book to read, Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yarrows. I loved this book. I didn't love Iron Flame, but this one, absolutely amazing. Again, it's going to have you hooked from the very beginning. It's a adult fantasy romance. It follows two main characters, Zayden and Violet. It's enemies to lovers, and I truly do think it's true to the enemies to lovers trope because the two main characters have been raised to hate each other and they have legit reasons to hate one another. The way it's written, the action, the adventure, even though it's fantasy, it doesn't truly feel like a fantasy to me. Yes, there's dragons. Yes, there's magical creatures and magical abilities, but throughout reading this book, it, it felt like I was reading a straight romance. I think it's more romantic than fantasy, if I'm being honest, but I just loved it. The angst, the side characters, the main characters, the banter, even the spice was just perfectly executed. Again, if you want a book that you're just going to read in one sitting and going to be hooked throughout your summer vacation, this is the book. Then we have Bride by Ali Hazelwood. This one is another recent read for me and I loved it. It was a five star. It is a paranormal romance. It follows a vampire and a werewolf and it's a marriage of convenience book, which I love that trope. I don't know why, but arranged marriages, marriage of conveniences, just they just do it to me. And this one is kind of like enemies to lovers as well because the werewolves and the vampires hate each other and have hated each other for centuries. So this marriage of convenience is supposed to bring everyone together and they're supposed to unite the vampires and the werewolves. This one, I don't believe it takes place in the summer. I don't remember it taking place in the summer. The only other book that I've loved from Ali Hazelwood has been Love Hypothesis. So I was kind of scared to read this one because all of her books have just been straight flops for me. But this one honestly has redeemed Ali Hazelwood and it has proven that she can write other types of genres. Like it doesn't take place in the STEM world. It doesn't have two characters who are the replica of Adam and Olive from the Love Hypothesis. This book stands on its own. It's also very slow burn. I don't think anything truly happened till closer 
to the end of the book if I remember correctly and I just loved it. Now if you want a romantic comedy slash fantasy, Assistant to the Villain is the book for you. I think I gave this book five stars. I'm pretty sure I gave it five stars. I loved it. It was so funny. If you want a lighthearted fantasy romance and this is this is the one to read this summer. It follows a female main character who is desperate to help support her family so she ends up becoming an assistant to the town's or the kingdom's villain but as she quickly realizes there's actually more to this villain's story and he's not truly a villain there's reasons why he's doing what he's doing like he doesn't harm innocent people everyone that he harms is for a reason i didn't know that this was part of a series so when it ended on a cliffhanger i was like excuse me i was just not prepared for it the relationship between these two characters was just 10 out of 10 perfect it brings a smile to my face just thinking about it the side characters were all so fun and there's even a little frog i believe his name was kingsley he honestly stole the show as well because he was just so perfect so cute and i want to know more of his story hopefully we get to see more of him and learn more about his story in the other books but i loved it read it pretty quickly and i highly highly recommend then we have it happened one summer by tessa bailey this one i read a few years ago and it's probably the only tessa bailey book that i've actually enjoyed it does take place in the summer it takes place in a very small fishing town it follows a female main character who's rich as hell and her stepfather actually sends her to this fishing town because he's kind of had enough of her bad behavior in this small fishing town she meets this guy named Brendan who immediately writes her off like oh you're another rich girl you haven't worked a day in your life and they just don't get off on the right foot at all just the banter in this book was 10 out of 10 again I'm a big banter girly if the banter is good in a book then I'm gonna love my memory card died and also my son woke up so I need to speak through these last couple books like I was saying and it happened one summer follows Piper and Brendan and throughout her stay in the small fishing town she starts to question her behavior throughout the years and starts to question whether or not she could actually see herself live in this small town and be with the male main character. A very witty and funny book and again the probably the only Tessa Bailey book that I've read and I've read a couple of her books that I've actually really really enjoyed. I think I gave this book a five star rating and I'll probably reread it this summer because I read it two years ago and absolutely loved it. Highly highly recommend. Then we have My Dark Desire by LJ Shen and Parker S. Huntington. I don't think this book takes place in the I actually don't remember what season it takes place in. I just know that I absolutely love the romance and I love the characters. It's actually the follow-up to My Dark Romeo, which I loved, but this one was 10 times better. They definitely upped the writing, upped the characters, upped the romance. Everything was just perfect. It follows a billionaire who had something traumatic happen to him when he was very young. And because of this traumatic event, he's never really been able to form relationships outside of his friend group. He's never been able to tolerate human touch. So he's never had a girlfriend. He's never been in a relationship enters this woman who she's poor now but she used to be well off until her father died and she basically turns his whole world upside down and teaches him how to tolerate and be okay with human touch and helps him cope with what happened to him as a young kid it's also a cinderella retelling like the female main character has a stepmother and two stepsisters who makes her life hell and the male main character zachary is prince charming basically just really really love the banter between these two love the side characters Romeo and Dallas from the first book make little appearances and I just loved it I cannot wait for the third book if you want a good romance book that you're going to be hooked and want to continue reading throughout your vacation or through a beach trip or whatever this is the romance book to take with you I loved it and I had a couple of more books that I wanted to recommend but since my baby woke up I'm probably going to have to film a part two to this video and film that at a later date I really hope you guys walk away with at least one good book recommendation from this video that you love let me know in the comments below if you have any summer book recommendations for me any books you think that i should read this summer i would love to hear your book recommendations i do need some i really don't know what i want to read this summer aside from maybe two or three books that are coming out later this year but yeah really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys